Hi everyone, in this video we are going to cover a particular career path and a role which you can do with or without MBA and that role is going to be that of data analyst or as a business analyst or a data scientist and jab bhi main data science ka baat karta hu people get confused wo sochte hai ki yaar ye to bahut technical field hai isme coding karna padega and everything but that is not true at all a lot of people get into these roles after mba as well kafi mere batchmates ne bhi shift kiya hai in roles mein and it is all because of the money that is being given in these roles currently so suppose aap join karte ho as data analyst or business analyst or as a junior data scientist and that too you are just entering the workforce without any mba degree then aap एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हो आपकी सैलरी होगी इन द रेंज ऑफ 10 टू 15 लाख फॉर अ टिपिकल रोल लाइक दिस एंड आफ्टर थ्री फोर इयर्स जब आप में डोमेन आपके पास डोमेन नॉलेज भी हो एंड फंक्शनल नॉलेज भी हो देन आप एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हो टू बी अर्निंग अराउंड 25 30 लाख व्हिच इज लाइक द टियर 1 एमबीए पास आउट्स अर्न एंड अगर आप एम बी ए के बाद जाते हो ऐसे किसी रोल में देन यू कैन अर्न इन सेन अमाउंट ऑफ मनी बिकॉज बिजनेस स्किल प्लस डेटा स्किल्स अगर दोनों को कंबाइन कर दिया जाए इट्स एन इनवेल्यूएबल एसेट टू हैव मैं अपने एक बैचमेट का एग्जाम्पल दे सकता हूँ हु हैड ज्वाइंट राइट आफ्टर कैंपस अ कंसल्टिंग फर्म विच हैड अ बेस सैलरी ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव लैख एंड टू ईयर्स उसने वहाँ वर्क किया एंड अपस्किल किया अपने आप को इन एम एल एलगोरिदम्स एंड आफ्टर दैट ही ज्वाइन अ स्टार्टअप इन अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट रोल विद फिक्स सैलरी ऑफ फोर्टी लैख तो आप इंडस्ट्री स्टैंडर्ड्स भी कंसिडर करो लाइक थर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट स्विच होती है बट गोइंग स्ट्रीट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फाइव टू फोर्टी लैक इज एन इनक्रेडिबल जंप इन एनी पर्टिकुलर रोल एंड द रीजन दैट इट हैपन वॉज बिकॉज ऑफ वेरी सिंपल थिंग दैट उसके पास बिजनेस स्किल ऑब्वियसली थी बिकॉज ही वॉज अ ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम आई एम अहमदाबाद एंड आफ्टर दैट गेटिंग द हैंड ऑन दोज एम एल एलगोरिदम विच मीन्स ही वॉज एन इनवेल्यूबल एसेट काफी कम लोगों के पास ऐसी स्किल्स होती है जो बहुत बिजनेस साइड भी देखा हो एंड डेटा स्किल्स भी कंप्लीटली आता हो जिनको सो ये तो क्लियर है कि डेटा साइंस में बस टेक्निकल रोल्स नहीं होते हैं एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर दोज मेथ only मैं exactly आपको बताऊंगा data science में कैसे technical roles होते हैं and कैसे business and management roles होते हैं after MBA जो भी domain हो consulting हो marketing हो product management हो finance हो सब में आप एक data science का भी role रहते हैं and I will properly explain कि हर एक इस role में कैसे data science incorporate हो सकते हैं आप किस type के roles में जा सकते हो after your MBA as well and along with that I am also going to cover the skills that is required to enter into this field मैं एक detailed list of skills बताऊंगा जो आपको अगर आप डेटा साइंस में जाना चाहते हो आफ्टर योर एम बी एज वेल एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू कवर द स्किल्स दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू एंटर इन टू दिस जो आपको अक्वायर करना पड़ेगा इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एंटर दिस फील्ड एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक न्यूटन स्कूल फॉर सपोर्टिंग दिस वीडियो एंड बींग द रिसर्च पार्टनर्स इन दिस देर टीम हैज डीप एक्सपर्टीज इन डेटा साइंस एंड हेंस यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो टू बी बेस्ड ऑन एक्सटेंसिव रिसर्च इन दिस फील्ड एंड इफ यू डो नॉट नो अबाउट न्यूटन स्कूल इट्स एन एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन दट ऑफर्स प्रोफेशनल डेटा साइंस सर्टिफिकेशन दिस वॉज स्टार्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन बाई टू आई आई टी एंड निशांत चंद्रा एंड सिद्धार्थ महेश्वरी निशांत हिमसेल्फ इज एन आई एम कैलकेटा एलमनाई एंड रियलाइजिंग द पोटेंशियल ऑफ डेटा साइंस इन बोथ टेक्निकल एज वेल एज बिजनेस साइड ऑफ थिंग्स दे स्टार्टेड द न्यूटन स्कूल एंड इफ यू हैपन टू जॉइन न्यूटन स्कूल डेटा साइंस सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स देन दे विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू एप्सल्यूट बेसिक दैट इज फ्रॉम द फाउंडेशन ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स स्टेटिस्टिक्स टू मेकिंग यू वर्क ऑन सर्टिफाइड प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम टॉप कंपनीज लाइक के पी एम जी टाटा बी सी जी एंड अल्टीमेटली ऑल्सो हेल्पिंग यू लैंड प्लेसमेंट इन योर ड्रीम डेटा साइंस रोल्स विच दे हैव बीन डूइंग फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स नाउ सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एनरोल इन न्यूटन स्कूल डेटा साइंस सर्टिफिकेशन आई हेव ड्रॉप लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन चेक इट आउट फ्रॉम दे लेट्स फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद टेक्निकल रोल्स दैट यू कैन गेट इन डेटा साइंस सिंस आई हैव लिमिटेड नॉलेज अबाउट टेक्निकल रोल्स दिस कंप्लीट लिस्ट वॉज प्रोवाइडेड बाई न्यूटन स्कूल बेस्ड ऑन वर्ल्ड दे हैव बीन एबल टू प्लेस देयर कैंडिडेट्स इन द प्रीवियस ईयर्स सो दैट इंक्लूड्स डिजिशन साइंटिस्ट और अप्लाइड साइंटिस्ट मशीन लर्निंग इंजीनियर डीप लर्निंग इंजीनियर डेटा इंजीनियर ए आई सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट एम एल ऑप्स इंजीनियर एंड ऑल्सो इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग और एलगोरिदमिक ट्रेडिंग द लास्ट वन इज समथिंग विच इज ऑल्सो सिमिलर टू वट यू गेट इन फाइनेंस रोल्स इन टिपिकल आई आई एम्स एज वेल अ लॉट ऑफ माई बैचमेंट ऑल्सो गॉट प्लेस एज एलगोरिदम इन एलगोरिदमिक ट्रेडिंग सो दे हैड टू गो थ्रू अ पाइथन टेस्ट एंड एवरीथिंग फॉर दिस सो यू कैन कॉल दैट टेक्निकल रोल एज वेल बट द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी दैट यू अर्न इन दिस पर्टिकुलर रोल आई कैन से इज क्रेजी दो ऑल द बैचमेंट्स एंड इट रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ preparation about both finance and data science but there is crazy amount of money in this particular field and newton school as they said they have been able to place candidates at an average package of 12 lakhs if someone comes with a fresher and wants to go into a technical role they can imagine to be starting at around 12 lakh per
can be anywhere above 40 lakh even up to 50 lakh you can earn now let's come to the business roles in data which is going to be the major focus of my video so you can pursue all of these roles after mba as well so let's start with consulting in typical consulting firms mba students get placed like there is mckinsey there is bain there's bcg there is strategy and accenture strategy oliver wyman at carney and many consulting firms like these and in all of these consulting firms there is a data and ai practice where typically those particular consultants are consulting their clients in the space of data and ai helping them with all of their data solutions or ai solutions and this is where exactly a data science professional can make it if you have both business as well as data skills you are a perfect choice for a practice of like this you can enter these consulting firms without an mba degree as well where you might enter as an analyst as newton school also said that they have placed candidates in bain and they entered as an analyst so typically once you enter as an analyst after two three years you will gradually rise the ranks and become first a junior consultant and then a consultant and typically that is how for mba you directly join as a junior consultant or as a consultant depending on your years of experience so this is how a natural progression looks like but in every consulting firm i can say there is a data and ai practice that you need to be aware of and if you have skills and if you have the functional skills you can get into this and the reason that the way it is not technical but more of business side of things because you will not be responsible for executing any coding or any sort of that thing but it will be more on data strategy on ai strategy that is developing use cases for the clients what exactly they can do in ai what exactly they can do with the data that they have their data governance strategy their data a collection strategy what kind of analysis that they can perform and those kind of use cases so there will be a technical team as well who will be responsible for executing it and you would be responsible more on the strategy part of it coming to product management profiles typically after mba people are hired for product management roles as well and suppose there's a company which is concentrated or focused on developing an ai product it obviously needs people who have those skills for example typical companies like there is fractal analytics there is uh, yellow.ai these companies focus on very data science or data centric products the kind of products that they make for their clients as well is driven by ai driven by data so obviously they need people who have prior knowledge in that field again here you will not be responsible for making that product but just like a product manager in any other firm or on any other product you will be responsible for making sure that you collect the right requirements from the client and also pass it on to your team Team or the engineering team and that is where your knowledge in data science comes handy and also remember a lot of the big firms like Microsoft Google everyone is developing AI products these days and that is where we can see that integration between business and data roles and it is going to be very very useful in the coming years as well it's coming to marketing all the major FMCG firms have their data science teams as well obviously they have their brand managers as well who come from top MBA institutes but now what is being done in these market firms as well generative AI is being used to develop their campaigns to develop new product recommendations and now a brand manager needs to be aware of these skills as well and that is where someone coming with a business knowledge who can be a brand manager for these firms as well as have basic knowledge about these generative AI and how that can be used to develop new campaigns is going to be invaluable in these marketing firms as well next coming to finance and I've already talked about the algorithmic trading role here which is a typical role offered to IAM candidates candidates as well and here you need a little bit of technical knowledge on python coding and ml algorithms as well so when they come to the im campus they had a screening round which was based on python coding and after that particular round they, the students were shortlisted for the final interview so here if you have both financial knowledge as well as knowledge in data science it will be very very valuable because first obviously you need to know about markets you need to know about the different financial instruments and along with that if you have knowledge in python if you have knowledge about statistics it's a potent combination and it's the best combination for this kind of a role as well finally coming to the skills required for data science and here again i will be using newton school's curriculum to tell you about the typical skills required in both business roles as well as technical roles so this time let's start with the business roles to enter into business roles the typical skills that you would need is first obviously you would need deep knowledge of maths and statistics and i would say maths not exactly maths but more of quant side of things the quantitative side of things and statistics 
After that, you would need skills of data handling skills or data handling tools like uh, there is Excel, there is uh, SQL and so on. Then you would need data visualization skills like Power BI, there is Tableau and so on. Then basics of programming at least. So basic of Python with pandas, if you can, uh, if you have that particular knowledge that is required. After that, uh, maybe business case skills are required. So you might be given a typical business problem and you need to solve it. And that uh, business problem would revolve mostly around data. So these kind of skills, if you have, it's good enough to get into business roles and for technical roles, in addition to all these roles that I have mentioned in business, along with that, you need to have certain more knowledge as well. That includes learning specific algorithms like there is supervised and unsupervised learning algorithms, there is time series forecasting, there is there are recommendation systems, neural networks, computer vision, natural language processing and so many more algorithms that are being taught for someone who wants to enter into typical technical roles. So these are the typical skills required to enter into both business and the technical roles in data science. And again, as I had mentioned already, this was taken from Newton school's curriculum, which was designed by more than 85 data scientists who are there in top companies. So I can rely on this data. Another advantage of Newton school I would like to mention along with the mentoring as well as the life projects, as well as the certification that you get, you also get lifetime placement assistance. That is once you are hired, if you want to switch your job later as well, if you become their alumni, they will assist you with lifetime placement assistance. So I would suggest if you are an MBA aspirant or someone who could not clear MBA exams this year and is appearing for CAT again, then you can take up Newton School's data science certification along with your CAT preparation. This will basically help you upskill and also give you an added advantage during your MBA placements. So the link to access the certification is there in my description. You can check it out from there. If you still have any doubt about career in data science, especially career in data science after MBA, you can comment down below. I'll be happy to help you with that. And this is it for this particular video and see you in the next one.